Hey everybody, please ignore the phone ringing in the background. I have another Jurassic World Dino Trackers review. This is the Track and Attack Indoraptor. So you can see the front of the box here. I'm not able to move the camera too much because I'm actually not using my normal phone. I'm using a different phone to record this with. So we have an all new Indoraptor, new sculpt, new everything. Hold on. Oh, I was going to say, that, that better not be a bad QC. It's not. It's. I'll explain it. So here's the back of the box. I'm using a crock to actually hold the phone in. So there's the back. Glowing red eyes. It's, it, this looks pretty, pretty dope. Here's the barcode. The DCPI for this item is 087166458. Alright, so th this uh, is a $34.99 figure, my, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, $34.99 plus sales tax. Each state and area is, you know, different. But yeah, let's pop this right out. Ow! I am in a horrible mood today. I've had an absolutely terrible day. Mm. There's one more. So what I what I thought it was was the dew claw was put on the wrong side, but it turns out it was the scale on the foot. So there's also, you know, this that you got to get out because I know a lot of people are, are gonna probably miss all this, which is why I think they should just put the the stuff on first. Put, put as much as you can on the figures. I got in comments in the past on people telling me that they lost their tracking gear or their, you know, this and that. And I said, well, it shouldn't. Alright, we got... I took a thumbnail shot on my other phone, which I can paste right in. So this looks very, very nice. The only thing I don't like about this is maybe the huge feet. Which, other than that, looks awesome. So, I don't even know how this works. Here, let me find something to uh, kind of raise the, the whole thing up. Here, let's use this Among Us plush box that's completely intact. Yeah, I steal boxes like that from storage. And then a lot of times, they don't even care. Because it's not like they need it, right? They just... Yeah, I have an old Fallen Kingdom poster. Alright, that's a lot better. So the eyes, you don't really see, but they are, it's apparently that they're light up like the Grab and Growl and Raptor, um, which is at my mom's house. You got, the teeth are actually made of a much, a different kind of plastic, a different, oh yeah, the t <sighs> It's a different, you know, piece that they inserted. The whole body, it looks like the jaw on the, the, the whole body is like a different, you know, you know, sh molding. But it looks like there's like this metallic-ish tone to it, which, which is nice. Oh, hold on a second. I'll show you. Oh. Which you got these scales on the back here, which look really, with mean, the back of the neck, that look absolutely awesome. You got this gold stripe going down, all the way down to the, about halfway mark on the tail. Same thing on the left side of the body. Um, let's go over the arms. Oh! Okay, I've never seen it on a Mattel Dino where the, where the arm controls the body. So I'm guessing you put that there. My arm's going to get in the way, I already know it. Let's put it from the top. Yeah, I was... Yeah, that brown stain, it was... It went to Domino's and we got them little lava cakes. 
Oh, I swear, those are good. Oh, it does both ways, too. And that's how you... That's how the eyes are. I like how they re-sculpted the entire body to make it look... You know, more movie-like. And the old one really wasn't bad. I like the new one more, to be honest with you. What's this button do? Oh, just a normal chomp. The arms are, have no, you know, posability on them, unfortunately, but that's what you get when you get them heavy and, well, a higher end, you know, um, with all the action features. Um, we got the sculpting on the elbow, we got the scales, got the, they, they, re they remade the hands to be bigger. There's no painted cloth, but it's black, so it doesn't look... You know, horrible. The legs. The legs can go out and then like that. They can go back. They can go forward. The other leg can go back, forward, out and then. And the feet can rotate, which I guess doesn't look, you know, too bad. I'm going to put it back on the ground. Um, hold on. Yeah, the, the other foot can rotate. Um, you got these scales. Hold on a second, hold on a second. That look too good. I really don't want to turn it off by accident. I'd be pissed. You got these scales on the back and then the, on the back. Look absolutely phenomenal, in my opinion. They did a good job on this. You got all these scoots and bumps on the neck going all the way down the tail if you wanted to know. There's the scan code. Is that, is that readable? If not, hit me up. I'll, I'll get you a better one. And that one thing I said earlier that I got a little you know, excited about is that the tail the, the tail can move. It's on a it's a ball joint, but the superposable one probably it's the same way. But yeah, this is new, and this whole thing is like a very soft rubber. So this Indoraptor comes with this piece of what is it tracking gear? I'm trying to figure out. I'm assuming it goes on the arm like that. I'll have to look at the box. Yeah, it goes on this side here. This side goes on the right side of the figure. Yeah, I've never... I don't think I like this tracking gear stuff. Yeah, it goes on like that, but I gotta close it. So it doesn't get out, you know. Yeah, this one went on much easier than the Stegosaurus. I like how the mouths on a lot of these are, like, shut, and you use the feature to open them. I mean, I, this is a pretty cool figure other than the, what is it, the arms, which I would have liked to have seen, you know, more posability on. But you can't really can't really get them in that crawling position very well. I guess that's not horrible. You guys can't really see the shadow, but the shadow looks really cool. Um, I'll go get some of the other Dino Tracker figures. Put that there. I think I can't wait to see the new uh, you know, T-Rex toy only because of my OCD. So, Dude, I keep them all on this little nightstand thing, but when I get back to my mom's place tomorrow, 
I'll do a chef tour tomorrow, at least I'll try to be. Right now I got seven entire, like, seven dino trackers. So, hold on, I'm just gonna put the tracking gear on the stegosaurus. Come on, come on. There you go, there's the Sinotarnus. Cause you bet they're probably making a, what is it, a T-Rex toy? I'd like to see a, a Red Rex to be made. The reason why I can't pause the camera is because, you know, stop button's inside my, it's, yeah, you know, I'm using a fucking shoe to record this for you guys. So now y'all don't care. So here's the Stegosaurus, actually. Yeah, so got the Chronosaurus. The Diable Ceratops. The Eocarcaria. And the Dryptosaurus. I wanna see I wanna see some of the new smaller ones. Like the Alaphrosaurus and Notosaurus. Alright, that's my Track Attack Interrupter review. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.